What's up guys, it's your boy Archie and Amrish. He's behind the camera today. Today we're going to be installing the front lip spoiler on a BMW F30. We're going to show you guys how to install it. Let's go. Alright guys, so continuing this front lip install from a little while ago. Unfortunately, the first part of this video was deleted by mistake. So, as you can see in the picture there, the front splitter consists of two parts, the upper part and the lower part. First part of the video was showing attaching the lower part of the splitter there to the front bumper using some of the C-clips and then continuing where C-clips were missing. We were short a couple of these rivets because they didn't come with the front spoiler if this would focus. Had to order them separately to do the install according to the manual. So yeah, continuing the install now. Alright guys, so continuing on, we have the first part of the splitter on, according to the manual. Remove these two rivets, second to last two from the end. I think we already did this, the other part of the video that we filmed. So just replace it with these two rivets and that's all on the splitter. As well as this piece on the inside, here's where we needed one of the extra rivets. So there's one of the places you needed to drill on the inside. So, put the new rivets there, moving on to the next part now. Alright, so next up is these three holes here that we would have drilled. You need to use the rivets that we got. Same as this one here. You need to insert rivets into those three holes that we drilled. Those we had to drill as well. So, one, two, Three here and certain rivets into those on both sides right and left so these rivets are used to mount the lower part of the front splitter to the front bumper after lining up the lower part on the bumper and seeing where the holes are lined you drill those holes and then use these rivets to attach that lower part of the splitter to the front bumper okay so three rivets went in here one one here one here on here on both sides moving on to the next step there's another clip here removing the clip and then this screw here and washer you need to remove this before we fully engage the um, actual phone splitter onto this adapter B so this is how it looks currently just the adapter I have a machine moving the screw on that side, but it's just currently the adapter secured onto the bumper. The next step is to actually fit the splitter onto the adapter. Alright, so next step, we now going to remove the tape from here. Both sides are the front splitter. And on this part And on the adapter as well. Alright, so we're going to remove the tape and then engage. You should be able to lock this front splitter onto the adapter and the front bumper alright guys so we have the front splitter fully engaged you can see lines up perfectly on both sides yeah you actually do audibly here it engage there's five clips on the inside here that needs to audibly engage on the adapter it takes about a little bit of doing, but I'm wish got it in on both sides very well. Last step, you need to make sure that the clips on the splitter itself goes above the lip on the inside bracket. In that way, it'll fit into the groove and then snap it. Yeah, so it snapped in perfectly on both sides. Now we're just going to show you all the final rivets. Alright guys, so the lip on, the last two holes on the end here. This one is for a rivet to go through. Let's increase the brightness. So your rivet going through here, and then you have the screw and the washer going through here. So you actually need to install it from the inside here, and the washer actually holds on to a part on the inside here to hold it down to the bumper. This part, the entire rivet goes through and holds it down so you need to do that on both sides so that's your rivet through the hole that I was just explaining on the end so the rivet here and the screw here same thing on the other side 
The final step before seeing about the middle is there are 10 pre-drilled holes or you may have to drill them five on each side of the um, splitter if this would focus so yeah you can see the holes here there are 10 holes you need to just insert rivets into those those 10 holes are shown in the picture there on the upper part of the splitter and they are circled in the yellow circles Alright guys, so for the 10 holes I need to um, apply the rivets in, you have a choice. These are the BMW OEM rivets you could use. Just slot these into the hole. Or what came with our front lip, uh, these C-clips with screws. I think the C-clips are going to hold better, so we're actually going to use the C-clips and keep these rivets as spears. So that's what he's installing, he's using the C-clips. Show you guys. <laughs> Quick. So yeah, with the C-clips, the C-clips goes on to the adapter and then the screws just go through the bumper and into the C-clip bracket there to hold it in place. So using those for the 10 pre-drill holes along the bumper instead of this BMW rivet, which these are really easy to just pop in and hold it in place. But I think the C-clips since they came with our splitter, we are using those. Yeah, so I'll show you guys how he installs one. Alright, so you're going with the angle part on the top, pressing it onto this piece, slide it on, line it up with the hole. So the C-clip just slides onto the adapter and then you just insert the screw from the bottom of the actual front splitter into the C-clip there that holds it firmly into place and just tighten up with your Phillip head screwdriver so you did that all the way along the 10 holes there you can see all of them and yeah final part will be the middle section I'm gonna show you guys in a bit we still need to attach the middle part here so there's a bracket that we made because it didn't come with this um, spoiler we actually made the bracket let me show you all it here so the dimensions if you're gonna attempt making the bracket this would focus okay so yeah this should be better it's 8 centimeters long by Two centimeters wide by two millimeters thick. Right, so we pretty much made it out of piece of plastic. So this is pretty much final stages to install the middle part onto the bumper. I'm gonna show you guys this part. We have Doggo here malfunctioning as usual, enjoying the install and the nice cool breeze today. Nice weather today for install. Next step guys, there's the middle part that we're going to secure, it has four rivets next to it, you have this one, this one here, this one, this one, you just need to remove those to get some space to work here, because the plate is going to be going in between here, so in order to get space to work, we're just removing the four expanding rivets. Right, so this is the installation plate that we made, we just mocked it up, and... Yeah, found where we drill in these two holes. So I'll show you guys where this plate is going and yeah, how we're gonna install it. Alright, so the plate actually going in between the space here. Alright, no, before we put that, we gotta put the C clips if we put any on it. Yeah. Alright, so we actually need to put C clips on the plate where these holes are. And then you'll be inserting it, you're pulling down this part of the bumper and inserting it here. So the holes will actually line up with these holes here. Yeah, and then you'll be, okay, if this would focus. Yeah, so it will line up with two holes here. Then you're inserting the screws from here into the C-clips on the plate in here. 
at least that's what the manual says we're gonna see how best we can get it done and we we'll let you all know all right so to make it a little bit easier you just alter cut out here to fit in the c-clip and drill the holes so yeah the c-clip here and this bracket now is going to be inserting so the screws will be able to insert from the bottom up into this bracket to hold it in place that's the whole this middle part here in place right the front lip is pretty secure without it but just to go that extra step right so the bracket go in here and the two c-clips that we showed you all on the bracket gonna be lining up with the holes that's pre-drilled here inside here right so yeah that's what we're gonna try to do now line up the c-clips on the bracket with the holes here and screw in the screws from the bottom here through these holes into the c-clips on the bracket yeah Alright guys, so we end up having to use two longer screws. I think we had three quarter inch screws before. These we used was what, about one inch? Yeah, Alright, so these were the screws that came with the front lip. I think it's about three quarter inch or a little too short. So we ended up using one inch screws which worked fine. So we have the bracket that we made here with the two C-clips inside there. So it's fitted brilliantly as you can see here. And from this side, it fits flush and nice. Let me just give you guys a quick look at these C-clips, the 10 C-clips. So these are the 10 C-clips throughout the whole length of the bumper. We can either use the C-clips and screws or the rivets. We ended up using the C-clips and the hole really nicely in place. The last step is that these four rivets we took out here, just reinsert them. And install is complete. So two on that side and two on this side. And install will be complete. Alright, so this is the final look. Front lip install. You can see. Fitment was absolutely perfect. That goes up off it here. So fitment was absolutely perfect. Also the paint that we did the paint matching was absolutely spot on. We weren't actually sure if they were going to be able to match the paint but did a perfect job you can't tell any difference really actually at all you can't tell so worked out pretty well absolutely love the look of the front now way more aggressive sits a little bit lower so final look looks really really good nice and aggressive Love any look of it now, even more. Alright, so that's pretty much the final install for the front lip. Here's a final look. Looks very nice and aggressive. So it's a little bit low. I love any look of it right now. If the video helped you all, give the video a like. Leave some comments below if you guys did the install. If you're having any problems, also leave a comment below. And yeah. Make sure to like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel, guys. Click the notification bell, so you'll be notified every time a new video drops. And yeah, we have more stuff coming. We have the rest of the M Performance Kit to install. We have the side skirt extensions, as well as the Red Diffuser. So stay tuned for that. Click the link below. We have some Trini Vlogs merch. You guys can check it out. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Trini Vlogs, out.